My name is Kaz, uh, Karel Reese, uh, but everyone calls me Kaz, and I am a social worker, but I work for Worcester County Council, but I am the current direct payment lead for the social services side of direct payments. Direct payments are that instead of us purchasing a service for you, we can give you a pot of money so you can purchase it yourself. So that could be any type of service. So people come through our doors needing a variety of care and support. Um, and then based on that, we'll do an assessment and then we can give you your um, eligible amount <clears throat> and then you can choose a provider for yourself. We recognise the importance of direct payments. We know they pro provide much better choice and control for our um, individuals of Worcestershire. So that's why we got Community Catalyst on board. Um, they are searching for a range of micro-enterprises and it's not just personal care. It's, you know, people's needs are a lot more than that. Um, we have in Worcestershire, we have a core production network. So we are listening to the people of Worcestershire and what they need for their care and support. Um, training for staff, our social care staff, the training has vastly improved over the last few years because we need our staff to believe in it in order to promote it and that is improving as well. It's a more cost effective service. Uh, personal assistance and micro-enterprises are often um, cheaper than a domiciliary care agency and although it's not about money, there isn't an endless pot of money unfortunately. We all wish there was but there isn't. So if, a, if we get more cost-effective services coming on board, that means we've got better resources for the people of Worcestershire. We have a direct payments team in Worcester. They are the team responsible for setting up what we call our prepayment cards. Um, that is how we do direct payments in Worcestershire. Um, direct payment cards mean that we'll set up, it's like a bank account, um, we'll set up the account in your name or the chosen representative's name. We'll send you out a card that you can or can't use, it's entirely up to you whether you choose to use it. But the account does everything online banking does. So you can do uh, bank transfers, direct debit standing orders, all from that account. Um, the key point for the direct payments team is that they'll audit that account. It's called a financial checkup. They will do that um, annually or if there's a problem and we need to um, kind of step in and support. They can give support and advice. They can um, advise you on how your budget is broken down because in Worcestershire we do what's called net funding. Um, a direct payment. So everyone that comes through a service in Worcester County Council gets financially assessed and if you can afford to contribute towards your care you are asked to do so. With um, a direct payment your budget is set up so you'll have an allocated um, social worker that will work with you on what your budget needs to be to meet your needs but your client contribution makes up the first part of that budget and then we'll provide the rest of the funds <coughs> to support your budget. So the direct payments team looks at whether that budget is working right, whether the, um, the right things like insurance are coming out of your account, you're paying pension for your personal assistance. They will look at all of that as part of a financial audit. They will link back with the social care side and ask them to provide support. So we work closely, it's joint working. Um, so I am part of the direct payments team, but also part of adult social care. So I am the bridge between them both. <laughs> The challenges of direct payments is we've got a is a balance between giving people choice and control, but also that they're using the funds in line with their support plans. So we try not to be prescriptive on what they can and can't be used for, but at the same time, direct payments are public funds, and we have a duty of care to make sure those public funds are being used appropriately. So sometimes it, people do find it difficult where they feel like they might have to ask us permission on what they can use their direct payment for. Um, but what we are promoting as an authority is at the setup of the direct payment and the support plans. If we cover all aspects of how it can be used and where the budgets can be flexed and be used flexibly, then people are finding it a lot easier then to, uh, to carry on using it for the next 12 months until their next review. We as an authority decided to contract Community Catalyst because we recognise that 
there is more to provide and support uh, for the individuals of Worcestershire than just domiciliary care agencies. Our domiciliary care agencies are invaluable, but there is more to things we need um, other types of support in the community. And, and so we recognised there was a gap in the market, so we contracted with Community Catalyst and they have gone and found us 30 plus community enterprises now that can all be purchased via a direct payment. Um, and it's opened up the type of support we can offer to people. Um, people. We can think more outside the box of what somebody needs rather than just your standard care package. And it's working really well. Another way Community Catalyst have been so helpful for us is that they think outside the box for us. So the best example I could give you is they found and supported a yoga instructor to set up a business, which on first glance you wouldn't think yoga as a care service from a, a social care perspective, but actually what yoga has done for certain individuals is improve their mobility, which in turn then has slowly helped them improve their independence, and it's, so, it's made them not need a care service for a long period, it's delayed the need for additional services. So thinking outside the box in that sense, it's really supported um, a lot of individuals. And that's the beauty of direct payments. 